Hey guys, I'm ready to go. Today we're back on this Madden 22 Giants franchise season number two. We are here in week number 14, taking on the Houston Texans. They're six and six. Their best player is Deshaun Watson, who isn't even playing in real life. Let's take a look at the playoff picture currently in the NFL. Uh, I don't think it really changed much. First round by still the same. Second seed, I'm pretty sure, still the same. All that jazz. Uh, anyway, I not much to talk about. Uh, Mayfield's starting to slowly climb up the ranks in um, uh, MVP. I think he's up to sixth now for MVP. He's got 32 passing touchdowns on the season. That is one more than the current second. I, I forgot who the second is. Might be Aaron Rodgers? No, I can't remember. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys when we get the game started. All right, guys, here we go. And also, if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure um, Deshaun Watson has the most interceptions of any quarterback in the NFL right now in game. I think he, it's like 13, and I'm pretty sure that's the most. He's putting up Daniel Jones records from last year. I think that's a little less. I think Daniel Jones had like 11 last year, 11 or 10. I think it was 11. Uh, Mayfield's got four this year. Stafford's got one that combines for a total of five across the team. Um... I love the new white pants for the OA, the OA jerseys. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip the intro. Um, here we go. Looks like we're returning to start the game. <laughs> here we go, and now we are underway in Houston from NRG Stadium in week number 14, closing out on the end of the year. It is win or go home for some of these teams. One of them being Houston. It's it's gonna be a tough situation if they want to make it in. Doubtful they will. We'll see if they can, though. Um, you know, it's not entirely over if they lose this game. Patriots, they're still kind of on a bubble for the playoffs. They're not fully in yet. Barkley goes five yards off his first run. Uh, he had a great run last game for a touchdown. Uh, 76 yards, I think it was. Great game passing for Mayfield. He's he's been on the first few like completions of every game. He's been on like a, a streak, you know. He'll get complete the first five or so passes, maybe a little more than that. <clears throat> and that's exactly what um, Mayfield's been doing though these past few games. So we'll see if that continues today. Oh my gosh, sprint Saquon! Dude, I hate that stupid glitch from that freaking move. Barkley's got 500 rushing yards on the year now. I don't. I hate the stupid glitch, man. Where they just don't run. Sterling Shepard, he's got the most receiving touchdowns this year. He breaks a tackle. And he's finally down. Two for two, 22 yards for Baker Mayfield on the day. Mayfield's starting off with that completion streak in this one. Trying to break some tackles up the middle of that network. Still got yards with Barkley, though. Looks like Mooster's going to come in now. Uh, I'm going to send Barkley over the middle, hopefully. Or not Barkley. Um, Shepard over the middle. He's going to catch that for a first down and more. Up to the 15 goes Sterling Shepard. At the Orange Bowl way back on December 2nd of 85, but then they never lose again en route to winning Super Bowl 20. And when you look back on it, partner, didn't it almost feel like a Send these guys on some slants here. Hopefully that'll work. And the Dolphins were Hunter Renfro pushing it for the first down. Mayfield's 4 for 4, 49 passing yards. All that rhymes. Put Renfro on a curl, and then I'm going to send CD over the middle. Oh, crap. We've been sacked too many times this year, and it happens again right there. I'm a little tired, guys. I'm a little bit lightheaded, too. So, take it easy on me, guys. I'm not going to have as much energy. Crap. Nope, never mind. Then we're good. <laughs> Thought it was going to be deflected or picked, but never mind. CeeDee Lamb is in the end zone for a touchdown. With touchdown number seven on the year. And the Giants take it right down and Former college teammate for Baker Mayfield. He loves hitting those those former college teammates. That's going to be up and good. And it's 7 to nothing to start off. Young Hoku, that was his 51st PAT of the year. 
in his 51st attempt on him too. So, excuse me. It's been a, a great start to the year for Young Hoku. Well, you know, great start to the year. It's been a great first um, 13 weeks of the year for Young Hoku, and he's looking to continue that. 100% on the year. I, I don't think we've... I've said it multiple times this year. I don't think we've... Oh, first throw, first offensive play, and it's picked off. But uh, I was saying, I don't think we've ever had a season where our kicker has has gone 100% through PATs and field goals. I'm pretty sure Graham Bino was 100% on field goals, but he didn't make all of his PATs. He, he missed, like, one or two. Three yards for Raheem Mostert. Mayfield just threw his 33rd passing touchdown of the season that last drive. Much more to come. Oh, around the outside, Mostert's going to be in the end zone. Touchdown. Mostert squeezes out to the outside. All right, Young Hoku. That 100% year is in jeopardy on this kick, and it doesn't end. <laughs> It's always in jeopardy, every kick, and yet it does not um, end as my mom is walking into my room or something like that. Oh, hold on. That kick sucked because I got distracted. My mom was on the phone, she walked into my room. Um, so now we get set to see and Houston yeah, so I got distracted. That's why that kick side. sucked. Um, and so this offense, they be we'll fresh. see. Can uh, can Houston do the same thing? Deshaun Watson, number 14 on the season. I knew he'd at least have to throw one. He's, he's averaged, if I'm correct, I don't know if he's had multiple game interception, like multiple interceptions in a game, or if it's been one interception per game, but. 14 interceptions, week 14. That means he's averaged an interception a game, even if he hasn't had an interception every game. That's an interception worth every game. Eagles are tied with Jacksonville. I think they have the same record. And you got Washington is in a dumpster fire with Taysom Hill as their starting quarterback, a 63 overall. Uh, they're going to hope they can get a quarterback out of this draft. I don't even know who we're drafting, if I'm being honest. Um... Maybe a running back. I don't know. I think we might focus on the linebackers a little more. Maybe some of that defensive line. I think that's what we'll focus on. Secondary and the defensive line in the draft. Uh, either one of those spots will be that first. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, dang it. It's on us. Logan freaking Ryan. We're sending the uh, the blitz with Harrison Smith here. Yeah, I think we'll go for the D line or the secondary here through free eight or not well through free agency and um free agency and the draft. We tried to make a deal. I think was it Aaron Donald we tried to make the deal. Was he even in free agency? I think he was. Three yard run for Deshaun Watson. It's for first down. And uh, what is a? Uh, actually, you know what? Okay, Houston's not as bad. I mean, they're six and six. That's an even record. Deshaun Watson's thrown 14 interceptions on the year. That's the worst stat we've seen. They're gonna lose two yards though. Run, trying to run it with Philip Lindsay. Um, there's Leonard Williams, I believe, with the tackle. We're bringing the strong safety blitz. Watson with the snap. He's dropping back. He's surveying the field. He gets hit as he throws it, and it's incomplete. And it is third and 12. Watson with the snap. He's dropping back. He's throwing. He's got a completion. And did he get the first down? I think he's going to be a few inches shy. They're going to risk it for the biscuit. And they're going to go for it all. They're going for the touchdown this drive. Pretty much if they get the first down, they get the touchdown. It's a pass. And he gets hit. And it's incomplete. 
in what would have been for sure points for this um, Houston offense, pretty much, ends up in a turnover on downs. And now Raheem Mostert, we are going to push it up the middle with Raheem Mostert. Baker's longest throw this uh, season with the throw plus the receiving yards is 54. Alright, we're pretty much, yeah, okay, that's probably going to be dropped. There is the uh, completion. It's It was five in a row. We're going for it all. We were going for that longest of the season right there. It's third and three. We probably should run it, but dumb me is going to throw it. CD Lamb. And he is going to get it up to the 36. With a big gain there. Helping us out in this one. Going to try to get one more score. If we're lucky, maybe two before the end of the half. Oh, hit instantly after cr uh, crossing that line of scrimmage. He's going to go two yards. Oh, crap, I hit the wrong button. All right, let me fix that. From the 38. Mayfield. Oh my gosh, how do you drop that, Eric? Eric Ebron can make the most clutch catches, and then yet yeah, he can drop that wide open uh, throw. Third and seven. Gonna throw that one up. Shepard comes. Did he come down with it? Okay, yeah, I was like, I couldn't tell if he dropped it last second or if he came down with it. That was a great catch, though, from Shepard. Don't mind my mom in the background. She's being very loud. I think she's on the phone with her sister. Could be wrong, though. Ah, crap. It was losing yardage to throw the incomplete. Just give me go. Kicking my dog out so I can shut No, go, go. I couldn't shut the door. You're sitting in the doorway. Um, gosh darn it, man. I had an open receiver. Just couldn't get rid of it fast enough. Oh, crap. That's another incompletion. I'm trying to get rid of the ball there. Let's hope the screen pass works. If not, Young Hoku, easy field goal from here. From 50 is probably easy for Young Hoku. Getting up to the 29, this will be an easy field goal to hit, unless we want to go for it. Do we want to go for it? Risk it for the biscuit. We'll risk it. Or, uh, not risk it. Um, kick the field goal. Young Hoku looking for number 15 on the year. It's up, and it's good. Young Hoku. Fifteen for fifteen on the year. And... 52 for 52 on the extra points. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. For a total of... 100% on the year kicking field goals. Now comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And last time, they had it fourth and goal. Rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind him, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Watch him with the snap. He's going to throw it over the middle. Caught, brought down by Xavier McKinney. The, was he the 30th pick in the 2020 draft? Was it 2020 or 2019? It was 2020. Was it 2020? I forgot. Oh my gosh. And there's another example, another incompletion. I think it was 2020. Yeah. Crap. Great job that Casey Hayward happened to be there. We're bringing that heat, though. You know, if they throw over the middle, we're screwed. And... Oh, my gosh. No, let Harrison Smith hit him. He's going to light him up and make him fumble if anybody's going to. That should not have worked how it did. Watson with the snap. He's going to drop back. Throw. It's complete. And he's brought down. Clock's ticking. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Oh, they're all oh, Leonard Williams. Could have had an interception there. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. 
Young Ho Koo hit a field goal where the ball was spotted on the 41 yard line last week, maybe. Do they have Robbie Gold? Is that who it is? Oh, there's the sack! It's a fumble picked up! And Jabril Peppers takes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. First half has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, great game, great the game. Way and putting in the end zone, that's a defense's dream. They're having that type Watch of and game. Watson throws an interception and then fumbles the ball. For this offensive unit. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. Here's the kick from Young Hoku. After making yet another PAT. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. And we move to Watson with the snap. I just got like a text on my phone or something. And sacked again. And down he goes. Aziz Ojolari. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven. Oh, clock is ticking. Here. They had one timeout and did not use it. To shoot the foot. They do have the ball sack. after the half. How about we look at the halftime show? You know, it's crunch time in the season. If your record is not the best um, for playoff hopes, you better get those wins. Oh, you're not going to be in the playoffs. Uh, we're pretty much in the playoffs at this point. Um, looking for 13-0 and on the year. All right, what's going on in the NFL? I mean, we are in Texas. Amir Newhouse, the rookie, 9-14, 121 passing yards. They are leading over the Cowboys. Cowboys need to win that one, too. Uh, that'll be big if they lose that one. All right, what's looking here? Like, what's it looking like here? Panthers. Okay, yeah. That's all we're going to look at for the halftime show. I hate that stupid fourth wall break every time. Oh, that's it for the halftime show. Like, yeah, it was. It's an interesting like feature that was added, but like, I, it's annoying sometimes after you hear it constantly. Out now comes the Houston offense as you take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. And I tell you, four weeks All right. still to go, and everything Let's go. is the baby. open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about, well, if the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, uh, okay. But Lawrence was about to light him up in the back three, too. I know y'all saw that. Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. On first down, Watson. Oh, that's pick. Oh, his second of the game. Two on the game for Harrison Smith. The second of the game for Watson. The 15th for Watson on the year. And this, this game... That interceptions to touchdowns is starting to get real close now. I think he has like 20 passing touchdowns. And now he's it's only a, a five, five, a difference of five. Nobody's freaking open, but I do see somebody open. It's Raheem Mostert. Push Raheem. That was clutch. We almost got brought down in the backfield. Ebron's going to bring it in for a touchdown. Giants use the short field to their advantage as they Come on, help yourself to the seconds. MVP, Baker. You get down near the goal line, this is where having Baker's sure getting closer and closer. And it pays off big time. Up and good. When the defense sells out against the run, he finds himself open. Trying to swallow my food and chew. I don't know if y'all can hear me chewing. I hope y'all can. That will extend this big lead. Following the touchdown. All right, here we go. Saints over. Lions. Saints have had a pretty good year, especially with Jameis James Winston. I was looking at, I think he has like 30 passing touchdowns and only one interception. We just played the Lions and absolutely whooped them. Miami's one and eleven. That's that's just sad. That was the weirdest hit stick animation I've ever seen. 
like I'm sorry, but that was. That's sad when you have any superstar X factors on your team, on offense at least. I don't think they have any on defense either. Their highest rated player was Deshaun Watson, who's like a 93, and I think he's like, that's like the highest for gaps of players after that. I don't know. Excuse me. Third and six in this shutout. That, okay. You know, that was a weird sack, but we'll take it. Fourth and 11. How about we try to block this thing? And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. That's sad. That's only the first the punt of the game. Hit me. You won't. Oh, he touched me. That's, yep. Yeah, no that was a fair catch. He hit me. Penalty. No. All right, we're going to run the ball to the outside the to start this drive. Hopefully, we get some blocks. One of them will hopefully be Paul Ricard. Around the outside, breaking a tackle. Great run from Raheem Mostert. But you know the benefits from all those empty seats? You and me trying to get to the airport. The road to be fairly clear by the time we have to leave the booth. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Ebron again. Oh, I tried to truck him at network. Make those 11 for 15. We still got to get those passing touchdowns up. I feel like that's going to be the main focus for, for what would win him the MVP, the, the passing touchdowns. You got to think about passing yards too, completion percentage. I feel like the completion percentage, though, wouldn't matter too much. They're really going to be focusing on those passing touchdowns, which Kenny Galladay will help with that. That is the 35th on the year for Baker Mayfield. And his third of the game. Our young Hoku, come on. Let's not try and score. You it's up do that and good. I've seen big leads blown, and teams that look like they had a victory, all of a sudden we're going Why to even the come to the game, Texas Texans fans? You knew you were gonna get destroyed. <laughs> a feature I would like to see added to Men 23 is like in like NBA 2K. You'll notice if you're like blowing a team out at their home or if you're being blown at home all of their fans leave I hope they add that into Madden 23 like that'd be a nice feature to add great job from Adoree Jackson there it's much more in their head and what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional. Oh, it's another fumble. This time it's recovered by the Texans. And it is now third and 23 for the Houston Texans. But I think the good news outweighs it, able to retain possession. That was big for them. Has to get rid of that one. And they're not going to go for it. How about we try a straight rush this time? Maybe this will help us block it. Crap. Crap, we're going to have to call fair catch again. Well, we dominated against Detroit last week, and it looks like we're going to be dominating against Houston this week. We go from, from the north border to the, the south border. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no, Kenny! Hold on to the dang ball! He should have had that one. How many? No, they don't have any superstar X factors on offense or defense. That's sad. Or on special teams, just to clarify that too. Y'all, y'all probably knew that. It's very rare to see that. I think, I think it was like I know in Madden 21, or maybe it was Madden 20. I can't remember. I think it was like Johnny Hecker or something like that had a, a superstar ability. And he was the Rams player. Our center is now injured. Uh, I think that puts Matt Pert in line. No, that does not. Oh crap. Uh, there are gonna be a lot. There's gonna be some pressure coming from the middle here. Let's hope that linebacker. Okay, never mind. We got we got double coverage there. We're gonna find Kenny Galladay though. Galladay, he's gonna shed a tackle. Great game. We're 15 for 20. And Deshaun Watson's year uh, 
with with interceptions and then passing touchdowns. That was not who that was intended to. Uh, Rob Gronkowski just stole that from uh, Sterling Shepard, but it's a touchdown, so I'm not going to get mad. Uh, that is number four of the game for Baker Mayfield. Continuing to throw more touchdowns. Number 36 on the year. This is has to be helping Mayfield in the MVP stand. Shoulder strain will return soon. No biggie. We'll just substitute him for now. We also need to worry about the backup offensive line. I think that's something we'll also be focusing on in free agency once we get to that point. Free agency is still a ways away, though. we got a few more weeks to play left in the regular season. We have 15, 16, 17, and 18. Those are, those are our last few weeks. Because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Mm, let's go. James Bradbury just got his second of the year. Let's go. The third of the game for Deshaun Watson. He has struggled in this game trying to throw the ball. That's just what happens when you play the best secondary in the league. What a freaking catch. That could be reviewed. Oh, dang it. I want to run that play. Um, that could be reviewed for trap catch. We'll see. I don't think it will, though, knowing that I called the play and we all got out on the field and all that. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Now here's a throw Galladay got down the sideline. He's going to break a tackle and go and forward. All the way down to the nine. The end I don't know why I just called four verts, but I did. Speed things up here. Here's Mayfield. Caden Smith over the middle. I don't think he's had a reception all year. Make that his first, and it might even be for a touchdown. If it was his first reception of the year. I know it was his first touchdown. I don't know about reception. Young Hoku still 100%. And uh, that's number five of the game for Mayfield. 37th on the year. It took us a little bit to get in the passing rhythm, but we finally got into it. Thanks to Young Hoku. Or not to Young Hoku. <laughs> To Baker Mayfield, or, or thanks to the receiver, not Baker Mayfield. I mean, Mayfield's played great, you know, this second half, but that was his first reception of the year. Hold on. For some reason, I thought I heard music start playing in the background. Um, I think my mom might be making a protein shake or something. I don't know. It's like 10:30 in the morning. I gotta go to bed. Like in the morning, not in the morning. At night, at the time of recording, uh, I gotta go to bed soon. Like 30 minutes. I have to go to bed. Oh, that was almost a pick. Yeah, I gotta go to bed here in a little bit, though. No, they do not. No, there is no way they have 17 passing yards. What? That that was not. Yeah. 50 passing yards. They do not have 17 passing yards. There's no way. We've been able to really contain this passing uh, offense, though, from the Texans. We always kind of give it up late in the game, though, so let's hopefully not. Crap. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. We give it up late in the game. He's only been able to complete eight passes, though, so we've played some really good defense. Snap. It's a quick throw. It was almost picked off. There were, like, two people who had a shot at picking that off. There is your man of the hour, Baker Mayfield. I feel like that's not really how long his beard is in real life. I could be wrong, though. It's shorter than that. When was the last time it was that long? I feel like the last time it was that long of college. No, not really. Maybe, like, sometime in the NFL he had to have it longer. I don't know. Third and nine. Watson drops back. He throws. How was that complete? I have no idea. Oh my gosh. Bring him down. It's not that hard. Finally. It's gotten about like 20. Oh my gosh. Wait. They, they didn't count it for the first down. I guess he didn't have, have the possession of the ball when he caught it. Punting it out of bounds. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. 
The Giants offense. Scooby, go. I, how many times do I tell you a day to go? Come on, go. Sorry. Tell my dog 20 million times a day to leave my room when he clearly knows he's not supposed to be in here. Go ahead and slide. That was just to get out of the pocket. Nobody was open in time. We had the pressure coming. So, might as well just just scramble out and and slide. I'm going to send CeeDee Lamb and Gr uh, Gronk deep here. No, okay, we're throwing the... He, he just got speared. Only five incompletions. They're doing pretty good. Yeah, look at that. That doesn't look good on y'all. 36... Or th 36... <laughs> 368 passing or, or offensive defensive yard whatever I don't care anymore with, with what I'm trying to express out of my mouth what a freaking catch great catch from Sterling Shepard open downfield Nice, four receptions, 69 yards. Yard Enough time to get get off one more play. Nope. Two to go in a 50. <laughs> Man, this has been a, a fun game to just dominate so again. We might go 59 points, scored two games in a row. Wow. This time it'd be a shutout. But. I'm gonna go aggressive catch just in case. Mayfield looking for number six on the game. He had a great game last game. Looking to do even better today. Oh crap. At least we didn't get sacked. We've only been sacked once today. And it was it was early on in the game. So I'm gonna send Gronk over the middle here. Galladay's tired, so I know you love that. Getting getting the extra passing or passer rating up and all that. Send CD over the middle. I was letting Galladay on the curl. Doesn't have to run anything too fancy here. Maybe we'll get him in the end zone. I hit the wrong button trying to throw it to CD Lamb. Dang it. Galladay got open over the middle. Is that last second though? No, we're going for it. Doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, after all, it's... What's the score? 52 to nothing? That's in the end zone. Caught touchdown. Number six on the game. For Baker Mayfield. Keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? It's and up. And it's good. Young Hoku. But it's not just their own confidence that is leading them. 56 on the year. No, 57 on the year. I think. I'm trying to think of how many touchdowns we scored in this one. I think it's seven. Because we had six passing touchdowns. I think the rushing touchdown from Raheem Mostert. Right? I'm not sure. I forgot. I think that that's 57 on the year. I don't know. Baker Mayfield, 38 passing touchdowns on the year. Tell me this man should not be the MVP. I mean, if he's not the MVP, he's finishing second on the year. If he's not MVP. Definitely best quarterback in the NFC. Oh, I think it's a holding call. I could be wrong. Oh, that's an illegal forward pass! Dude, two flags on the play. Illegal forward pass and a hold it? Bring it back. And I swear it was an illegal forward pass, too. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was an illegal forward pass. 29 seconds left. Here's the snap. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. Dance into his left. Watson gets a good run, goes down. Clock's ticking though. One more play available for Houston if they even want to take it. They will. And Watson goes down on the last play of the game. Leonard Williams, two sacks, four tackles in this one. 
Have yourself a game, Baker Mayfield. Six passing touchdowns, 59 to nothing. Absolutely dominated on defense and offense. We had one drive we had to attempt to field goal, and that was it. Um, every other driver in the end zone, so. Yay. Uh, I love how J.K. Scott has punted the ball four times in the year. I don't know, we've just been dominant this year. Four takeaways, 10.6 average yards per play, 80 rushing yards, 347 passing yards, and the final score, 59 to nothing. We love to see that on the scoreboard. Yeah, run off the field, y'all suck. 59 to nothing. That'll do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in week number, I think it's, yeah, week number 15 uh, against Washington. So we're playing Washington again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.